Uh, hi, uh, my name is Gary Gao. I'm with OSU South Centers in Piketon. Uh, I am an ex extension specialist and also an associate professor uh, uh, here. And my main responsibilities include uh, uh, small fruits and, and also uh, wine grapes. Uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, elderberries. Uh, uh, many of you have uh, heard of uh, elderberries. Uh, uh, some of you may have known it uh, uh, through uh, uh, your landscape shrubs and some some of you may have seen this uh, this particular plant uh, uh, as a as a native shrub uh, in the woods uh, uh, with all with the increasing popularity uh, uh, of uh, super fruits uh, and uh, super berries and, and you may uh, may have heard of uh, elderberries and being a, a crop uh, uh, that's very high in antioxidant uh, content uh, antioxidants and uh, such as uh, anthocyanins or pigments uh, are known to have uh, lots of uh, health uh, health benefits. And uh, ho I'm holding uh, a branch of uh, uh, of an, an elder elderberry uh, plant. Uh, as you can tell, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, nice uh, fruits already. Uh, some of them are green, and then we also have a few that are kind of uh, purplish, and uh, well, some of them may have. Uh, uh, maybe a little bit uh, overripe, uh, uh, but anyway, um, this is a, a, a new. Uh, this is a crop that's been uh, uh, devel developed uh, as a uh, food and, and also medicinal crop. Uh, elderberry production in Ohio is really not that uh, uh, not that uh, uh, new. Uh, folks have uh, grown them over the years, uh, but as a commercial as a commercial crop, uh, it's still uh, uh, somewhat new. And we are trying to increase, encourage uh, fruit growers to uh, grow uh, elderberry uh, uh, crops. And there are many different uses of elderberries. Uh, uh, depending on uh, which folks uh, uh, you talk to, one of the main uses uh, is uh, uh, wine production. Uh, and I never really had any, uh, have never tasted elderberry wine, but I was told that uh, uh, elderberry wine uh, tastes very much like your premium uh, red wine. So. So that's one use, uh, one main use of elderberries, uh, and other uses include uh, include uh, 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 baked goods uh, uh, like muffins and uh, muffins and pies and all that. Uh, yeah, folks really enjoy uh, using elderberries uh, uh, in their baked uh, goods. And then uh, uh, in other part of uh, of the world, and actually, uh, uh, I was told that Germans. Uh, Actually, like uh, like elderberry flowers and uh, in their uh, pancakes and all that. So it's a very, uh, very uh, versatile, uh, yeah, versatile plant. Uh, and their flowers could be uh, incorporated into uh, into the batter um, for pancakes, uh, and then you could use them uh, 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 in that way. Uh, elderberry uh, production is really not that difficult, and because when you look around, and, and there are a lot of elderberry uh, plants uh, in the woods. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, grow very well. So in terms of soil conditions, and they're really not that picky. Uh, so we can grow them very easily. Uh, behind me, it's a it's a planting of uh, uh, six different varieties of elderberries, and, and five of them uh, five of them are uh, American elderberries, and we have one variety of uh, European uh, uh, elderberries. Uh, so they're relatively easy to grow, and and then soil conditions, and they can take all kinds. Uh, uh, mostly slightly acidic uh, soil, uh, drainage-wise, and they do pretty good uh, uh, in our clay soil. And then they would rather have a uh, loamy type soil, but they can do quite well uh, in uh, in our clay soil. And then uh, for for fruit production, uh, you really want to select uh, uh, a few uh, a few uh, uh, known varieties, and uh, we have uh, uh, we have quite a few, and we. Uh, uh, one of them that we like quite a bit is called wildwood, uh, but there are many uh, many other varieties that are uh, quite good. And uh, uh, in terms of uh, fertilization, and they really don't need very much uh, uh, fertilization. Uh, you could apply a little bit nitrogen to make them grow, and uh, they do they do quite well. Uh, elderberries, and uh, uh, they can. Uh, uh, well, the flowers are very interesting. It's kind of flat, and it's called a cyme. It's like a little flat, uh, uh, flat white flowers, as you can you can see here. 
and, uh, and it's a very attractive uh, landscape uh, shrub. It can get uh, pretty tall and, uh, and very, uh, uh, it can get pretty tall and very big and so you do have to prune them pretty hard and uh, with our uh, American elderberries and, and one easy way to prune is just to uh, cut everything to the ground level in March and then that will be uh, very very easy to uh, manage and then you have fruit production kind of on a more even uh, basis. Uh, one thing that uh, uh, either growers and gardeners have to uh, kind of think about is uh, uh, bird damage. Uh, uh, behind me you can see a, a, a bird netting. Uh, if you don't net them, and birds can uh, get, uh, get them uh, very, very easily, and, and then birds like elderberries. Say something. Check, check. Yep. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, I forgot what I was thinking. Uh, if you have a problem or something, if you get stuck in the middle, just stop. Give okay. It a little bit. Don't start right back after it. Okay. Give us enough to where we can cut it and start back. Okay. okay. And then. Right now, I mean, we're recording right now. So oh. Okay. I mean, that's, okay. Well, that way we don't out. miss anything. Okay. Uh, what uh, uh, will you? Uh, we, we're going to try to aim for maybe ten minutes max. Okay. Maybe give me like a maybe after five minutes or so. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Just sure. kind of. Uh, we'll time it for you. Okay, we'll go uh, maybe just uh, three, uh, three, two, one. Uh, you have already started. Uh, hi, uh, my name is uh, Gary Gall. I'm an extension specialist and, and associate, prof associate professor. Oh, redo. <laughs> uh, this is uh, much harder than it looks. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Gary Gall. I'm with OSU South Center. For more information, you can always uh, contact uh, uh, contact me uh, uh, or uh, or visit our website and, and which is uh, southcenters at osu.edu and uh, you, you can always email me as well and uh, hopefully you can attend some of our workshops and uh, at OSU South Centers in Piketon or throughout the state.